welcome back to Till Beer Knows Part. We review all things craft beer on this channel, so if you're new, consider subscribing and ring the bell. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Like the little alarm clock. But the reason it's a bomb is because the last beer that we had from this particular brewer literally exploded all over our house. If you want to see that, there's a little video on our Instagram, at Till Beer Knows Part. This is Detour Reef from Arvon Brewing Company, and it is an India Pale Ale. Okay, right. for vitals on this guy, he is 7.9%. I'm a little afraid that it's actually gonna explode, yeah. so we're like clearing the area here, and I'm gonna open it, and worst case, I think this explodes all over my hand and all over the table. I'm hiding! It is pretty full. It feels full. Oh, God. Oh, God. I, I was legit we worried. We were worried, because you, you don't see in the video the actual explosion, because we didn't know, but you see the aftermath, and it was quite extensive. I should have known that it was actually gonna explode, but. But we've never actually had an ex can explode on us before, so we weren't 100% sure how intense that was gonna be. Oh, this is definitely carbonated inside the, uh, in the can. To be fair, this was canned at the end of May, and it's now August, so part of that is on us for not drinking it fresh. Quite, quite the amount of head. It's very tight bubbles ivory in color. The beer itself is a opaque yellow, straw-like. I have nothing to say because my poor my beer so sh shittily. Word of the day, shittily. shittily. It's not even a word. Okay, but I can tell that it's a really nice light haze. Uh, mm -hmm. This looks like a, a session hazy if I had to guess, but I know this it's is 7. not. It's 7.9 percent. We gonna get wasted. Well, not really. I mean, I really mm. get a really good sniff though with all this, with all this wonder, head on there. I smell citra. I smell citra. I definitely smell citra also. Oh, real tropical, citrusy. It smells like a little creamy. I also a get a little, creamy, yeah. I, use, I pick up the, the pineapple, mango, papaya, kumquat, kumquat. jinx. Well, I'm still gonna talk. Uh, <laughs> dragon fruit, no. passion fruit, passion jackfruit. Fruit. No, passion fruit I could get behind. I, could get, I, I, could get behind I don't, can't even say I've ever had a passion I've fruit. I've had it canned. Ew, <laughs> that's, that's fucking great. nasty. That's I think we should drink this. All right. Prost. Prost. More bitter than I thought. I don't find it to be very bitter. It's actually kind of very smooth and subtle. It smells very hoppy, very strong on the citra hops. But as I'm tasting it, I'm like, this is pretty mellow. I was expecting it to be very sweet, possibly sugary even, but it's mm -mm. not that. It still is pretty sweet. Just not as sweet as one would have thought. Normally when I have one of those sweet beers though, that sweetness just stays with you the whole time. And that's not the case here. It's a little bit of sweetness up front and then it really morphs into the other thing that you were talking about. Mouth feels pretty creamy. I would say medium minus. It's, it looks a lot thicker than it is. I'd just go medium. We don't have to agree. I don't know. A lot of people give shit to breweries that have cans that explode. If it happens once or twice, who cares? Shit happens. That's life. But sometimes there are breweries that seem to have consistent issues with exploding cans and Maybe they should fix their shit. I mean, just an it's, opinion. It's appropriate in certain kinds of styles. Say sure. farmhouse ales, they typically leave extra sugar in the beer. That's that makes sense. But but those are usually bottled. If you don't if you don't do it on purpose and you have exploding cans, that's more of a problem to me. Like pastry stouts. Like I said, if it happens like once or twice, that's fine. Or oh, yeah. if you know what? about it and you can tell your consumers, hey, store this in a cool place. I, we haven't had much from this brewery. It could have been an isolated incident. Let us know down in the comments below what breweries you've experienced floating cans with, if it's been one time, multiple times. I actually don't think it's too hoppy on the finish. I think it's more sweet. I was going to think about mouthfeel. It's kind of bubbly, but yeah, yeah it's it, bubbly. It, it finishes really nice. It just it finishes just how I want it to finish. Smooth. Boom! Ratons! Not your it's best. Exploding ratons. I'm going to give this a solid silver. This can did not explode. If it had, I would not give it a silver. Uh, but the beer itself is still really good. Very smooth, drinkable, almost crushable. I dig it. I probably would go silver too. I would say if it, I don't think it's crushable. I think if it was crushable, I probably would give it a gold, but there's a little bit too much carbonation in there for me to actually crush it. Dan's on a carbonation kick, if you haven't noticed in the last, like, dozen videos, if yeah. you watch that many videos of ours. All right, guys, that was our review of, what the fuck is this beer called? The Tour Reef. The Tour Reef by Arvon Brewing out of Michigan. Oh, for lager, for porter, and bottles are on draft, we're your favorite couple for all exploding beers. And non-exploding beers. <laughs> Blame why it's a bomb, Dan. All right. Ah! Oh, well, it wasn't the can this time. <laughs>
Well, okay, so newsflash, taping stuff to a can that has condensation on it doesn't work.